power and battery connections. The Gradient CCV is designed to provide dependable ventilation even in situations where power is unreliable. The CCV can operate using three different sources of power, mains power, an internal battery, and an external battery. Under average conditions and when fully charged, the external backup battery can last up to 14 hours, while the internal battery can last up to half that time at 7 hours. When performing ventilation that requires very high flows, such as CPAP in non-invasive ventilation, battery life is reduced. Both batteries have smart charging systems to optimize energy consumption, meaning they should be left plugged into mains power even when they are fully charged. This will keep the batteries at optimal charge and maximize their usable lifespan. It is important to know that the CCV can only use and charge one battery at a time. It will not automatically switch from one battery backup to another. By using the extender in the CCV workstation, the machine can be easily configured so that both batteries are charging at the same time. We recommend this configuration to ensure maximum backup time is available in case of mains power failure. Let's walk through the three simple steps to set up this configuration. Start by locating the power extender on your CCV workstation underneath the stand basket. The first step is to make sure that this extender is plugged directly into the mains power and that the plug point is switched on. The next step is to connect the mains power cable to the CCV AC power inlet on the left panel and then plug it into the power extender on the workstation. The top indicator light on the battery parameters panel labeled external AC power connected when lit will illuminate. This ensures the CCV is connected to mains power and that the internal battery is charging. Next, take the external battery charging cable and ensure it is plugged into the external battery and the power extender on the workstation. This ensures that the external battery is connected to mains power and is charging, which will be indicated by the blinking of the status light on the top of the battery. Double check that the external battery is not connected to the CCV at this time. With those three steps, you've made sure that both batteries are charging at the same time and that the CCV is operating on mains power. To double check that you've configured it correctly, you can perform two quick checks. The first is to look at the battery parameters panel on the CCV. Confirm that the top indicator light labeled external AC power connected when lit is illuminated. The lower indicator light labeled external battery power connected when lit should not be illuminated at this time. Since the external battery is not connected, the battery level bar indicates the charge level of the internal battery. The bars on the right side of the battery level bar should be blinking, indicating that the internal battery is indeed charging. The second quick check can be done by looking at the top of the external battery and making sure the charging status lights are blinking, indicating that it is receiving mains power. You can also check the charge level on the external battery by pressing and holding the button on the top of the battery. If you need to use the external battery, simply connect it to the external battery port on the left panel. But be sure to note that if the external battery is connected to the CCV, the internal battery will not charge, even if both are plugged into mains power. It is recommended that the external battery only be connected to the CCV when mains power is unavailable. The rest of the time, the cable can be wrapped up and stored on the side of the basket, ready for use when it is needed. Again, the CCV will not automatically switch between battery sources. If mains power fails and the internal battery is depleted, a critical battery alarm will go off to indicate that the machine will become inoperable in approximately 20 minutes time. 
To switch the external battery, you will need to physically connect it to the CCV. Once power comes back, disconnect the external battery from the CCV left panel so that both batteries can continue to charge. Be sure to leave the CCV connected to mains power even when not in use to ensure batteries remain optimally charged.